In this video, we'll be seeing how to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. This chaplet was given by our Lord to Sister Faustina with a number of amazing promises. The most preferred time to say this chaplet was on 3 p.m. noon, which was the Mercy Hour. And it's also prayed during the Fridays on Lenten season. Now let's see how to pray. We'll first make the sign of the cross here. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Here in this large bead, we'll say the optional opening prayer. This opening prayer is optional. You can say the chaplet with or without this prayer. It's actually a small prayer. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. After this prayer, the next prayer will say it three times. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. These are the three small beads. Then on the first small bead, we'll say one Our Father prayer. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. On the second small bead, we will say one Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. On the last small bead, we will say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Then on this large bead, we'll say the Eternal Father prayer. The Eternal Father prayer was like the Our Father prayer. In the normal rosary, we'll say one Our Father and ten Hail Marys. Here in this chaplet, we'll say one Eternal Father prayer, here on the large bead. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. And then we'll say this prayer on the ten small beads. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. This same prayer we'll say for the next nine beads, the whole ten small beads. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Now we will repeat the same prayers on the other decades. That is one eternal father prayer on the large beat and then for the sake of his sorrowful passion prayer on each small beat. After completing all the five decades, we will say the Holy God prayer three times here. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. After this, we will say the optional closing prayer. And this closing prayer is optional too. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, so that in difficult moments 
we may not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself amen then we will close the chaplet with the sign of the cross so this is how we will say the divine mercy chaplet the complete history of the divine mercy chaplet and the amazing promises was made a video and uploaded on this channel please check the description for the links thank you so much for watching